As Edinburgh is bombarded with unpredictable weather, it perhaps seems appropriate to establish an exhibition inspired by the characterful Scottish climate, which is why these two artists, previously strangers, were brought together. The, this new body of work that I've uh, been working on in the last year um, takes as its sort of theme the weather, um, the Shetland weather, and the seasons, and um, they're all watercolours which is the, the medium I've been working with for the last 40 years. Um, and it has a, a, a kind of symbiotic relationship, watercolour and weather. Well, this collection ultimately is known as fluidity. It came about while I was at uni and through a lot of experimentation. Um, and ultimately, these pieces were um, the offshoot of a visit to Venice. Um, I basically drew a picture of a church, pierced that out in copper. Um, it was a church window, sorry. Um, and then took that into the glass, the hot shop at uni, and asked for it to be encased in glass, pushed it in. Ultimately, it fell out, which was a complete disaster at the time for me. But looking at what it left behind, it then fed into a whole new body of work, which is where I'm at now, still, still working with that and still taking ideas from it. I knew that um, the gallery uh, liked to bring together uh, artists who had a, a, a sort of sympathetic um, approach to, uh, to their work and um, that, that you know, the, the work would, one work would bounce off another. And the transportation of those wild island atmospheres to the capital is what appeals in putting the collection together. It's always good to introduce other landscapes than the ones which are familiar. And um, yet Shetland, uh, especially for people, if they're visiting Edinburgh, they still embody the weather of Scotland, which is, you know, very moody and, um, uh, you know, atmospheric in, in some different ways, I guess. Um, uh, Peter brought a, quite a large collection of works, not all of them are on the walls right now, but given that it's January, um, right now the works which are hung are a bit more lighter to bring more light. And then there is another body of work in the back room which might be switched later in February, which are much more darker and stormier. So they, they vary a lot, but given that we are in the dark season, um, People want to see a little bit of uh, lightness, even if it's Shetland. And that lightness, coupled with seeing rather than experiencing first-hand January weather, should provide an effective respite from the wind and cold. Ian McNally, That's TV.